Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Shovel and I am here in Modern Warfare 3 with another Moab gameplay. And this was, I'm probably going to call this maybe like Shocking Moab or Shocked Moab or something along those lines, just simply because I had something a lot different than what I normally do. I know my Moab guide showed a class and that's actually what I do most of my Moabs with. But this was a little bit different because I had just finished prestiging, so I did not have rapid fire yet, I didn't have the two attachments. So I did just have, I think, Silencer on my MP7, I didn't have Assassin, I didn't have Steady Aim, I was missing a lot of the things that I normally do have. So this time, it was something a little bit simpler, and that's why I was kind of shocked that I actually got it. It's not so much that it's a very different gameplay, it's more that I was kind of surprised that I could get it without my usual setup. Also, I did get kind of an unexpected kill to get me the Moab, but that comes a lot later. But before I talk too much about this, I want to talk a little bit about something different. Uh, the topic of networking. Now, somebody that I had been watching for a little bit, and I've been watching his Moab gameplays, and kind of like just picking up a little bit of a style off of him because he was so good, got in contact with me and wanted to know if I'd like to do some networking. Now, when he actually did that, I didn't even really know what networking meant, so I'd asked him, I said, well, you know, what did you have in mind? And he said... Uh, you know, just promote each other's channels, shout each other out, and work together and try to grow as a small community, because small channels kind of have to stick together a little bit, because yeah, it's kind of tough to grow, because, you know, you're struggling to try to get some attention on your videos, and the name of this guy is Filtastic, and he does really awesome gameplays, he does a lot of Moabs, and I know I don't post too, too many, so if you ever get to the point where, you know, you just like another one, or I haven't posted one in a while, and you're feeling a little bit, I don't know, like you're just a little bit left out of the Moab scene, uh, he's definitely someone to subscribe to then. He's definitely better than me at Call of Duty. I do a lot of, I do get Moabs in that, but it's always kind of like with the same class setup. I'm not as dynamic. He gets it with tons of different guns, so he's an awesome, awesome guy. He has just a few less subs than me at this point right now, but he's grown quite a bit since I put him on my featured page on the channel, and so I'd like as many people that are really interested in Moabs and that to go and just subscribe to him, or at least check him out and watch some of his videos. I'll probably put an annotation up, and it'll also be in my description, but he's an awesome guy, and so I've been chatting with him. We'll probably even be doing some dual commentaries later, but to be honest, neither of us really know how to do a dual commentary. So, we're probably just going to kind of fumble around and see if we can figure it out and get, like, a good flow going, but I don't exactly know when that's going to happen, because both of us are pretty busy, and during summertime right now, actually, is my parents on are on holiday, so this is kind of like the one time where I'm actually going to be a little bit tied up for a bit, just because now we do things as a family, you know, go out places, and I, I'm 19, but I do live at home with my family still, I'm going to university, so... I get a little bit more busy, so I don't know if it would happen decently soon or what, but eventually we will be doing a dual commentary at some point. We'll probably do one of his gameplays because he's a lot better than me. But I do get some good kills here and there, just like that. I got a nice double kill, but it was a bit of a hip fire. It wasn't really too much aiming. He's he's just a very solid player all around, so definitely go check him out and go subscribe to him if you like Moabs, if you like Call of Duty. He's got great video quality as well. And he uses a lot of different classes, which is something I haven't done too much, which is why I've kind of started the Modern Warfare 3 Winter Fail series, which started off pretty good, and I've got a good number of things that I want to do now. I've got some class setups that seem pretty interesting, and that was kind of just to pull me a little bit out of my comfort zone with that and do some different guns, not always just MP7 with rapid fire and silencer and that and just stick a little bit more to some weird combinations. The last one was definitely a fail game, but it was, might have been a win for the entertainment. And there's actually one other person I'd like to shout out, and that is Copycats. He is... you might recognize him from a few of my gameplays I've actually done Portal with him. He's a good friend of mine, and you'll see him. He comes along in pretty much all of my Moab gameplays. He's always there, he helps me with the vests, he helps me out with a lot of things. So I just want to shout him out. He's starting to do some Call of Duty stuff as well. He made a channel. So go check him out. He does search and destroy stuff, actually, which I'm not a big search and destroy player. I just, I don't tend to enjoy it that much. Just, I don't know, I I get too used to the fast-pacedness of Kill Confirmed or Team Deathmatch or even Domination. 
So if you're interested at all in Search and Destroy, go check him out. And I'm kind of like getting all my shoutouts out of the way here, and a lot of people deserve shoutouts, a lot of people deserve to get a little bit more attention, and since I've grown a little bit as a channel now, maybe I can even have a chance to give some of that to some people. And this gameplay is already getting pretty far in so far. I don't think I've died yet. I'm playing really strong. I got more vests, but my weapons are running out. I'm on weapons I've already picked up from other people. And I saw that guy, but just could not get him. And it's... This was actually probably... Actually, I think it's my fastest mob. And there we go. I actually got it right there. And that's why I said it was kind of a bit of an unexpected way to get it, because that kind of randomly placed Claymore... It actually got me my kill. And right there, I kind of just... I died to them. I probably shouldn't have died to those people, but... When I get a Moab, I kind of celebrate too early a lot of times, and... I know at that point I was on Skype with copycats, and I just... I went to town, and I was talking, I wasn't paying attention anymore, and I just... I kind of died right after. But I go on a little bit more of a streak right after. I get a few more people. I don't know. I think I might die quite a bit, actually, from now on out. But... It was a pretty good game, and like I said, for me at least, it was kind of a shocking game because it was something very different from what I'm used to getting. And in this one, I actually had Hardline instead of Assassin, and Assassin's kind of like a must for me, so that was a really big adjustment to know that people could see me on the radar. I couldn't just kind of walk around and do whatever I want. So it's definitely something that I had to adjust to. But that's it for this gameplay. Definitely go check out the people that I've talked about. Uh, I will be doing another Modern Warfare 3 win or fail decently soon. I just gotta pick a nice class, and I might do probably the one that has the top comment. I wasn't sure if I wanted to or not, but I probably will. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next time.